Well, hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing an experiment and I'm going to be using this extra large salt and it comes in a tub and it looks like this. And these pieces are actually quite large. And it's pretty cool. You can do all kinds of things with it. I've made bath salts and all kinds of stuff. And just regular Epsom salt. And I'm going to do a deep pour and see what comes of it. Now the resin I'm using, which is Amazing Clear Cast, is actually not meant or recommended for a deep pour. But since it's an experiment, this is what I'm going to use. And I've done um, coasters with Epsom salts. And I absolutely love the effect. So I'm going to put the large salt in my mold first. And then I'm going to add the Epsom salt. And I'm just going to cover it there. I wish it wasn't sticking to the side of the mold. My hope is that it will create bubbles as the as the resin cures. I don't know if that'll happen or not. This is totally an experiment and I have not seen anybody else do this, but this is how we learn. So I'm trying to move it away from the edges just a little bit. I want to pile it in the center as much as possible and I'm not having a whole lot of luck with that, but that's okay. So let's look down in there the best we can. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. All right, so that's what it looks like before I add the resin. Now I got my large salt particles from thesage.com and I don't even know if they're still in business. I got that so many years ago but I will look them up and see, and if they are, I will provide a link. I warmed my resin in a water bath first before I mixed it, and now I'm just adding a little bit of lemon yellow alcohol dye. And like I said, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. There are some micro bubbles in there. So I'm going to pour. Ooh, there we go. Now we got clarity. I'm going to pour it a little bit at a time to see if we can get those bubbles to rise to the surface. And I'm just playing around today. And I'm pouring it very gently because I don't want to disturb the way I have the salt arranged. And that's about maybe a little over a half inch thick. And I just want to give it a chance for the bubbles to rise. And I do see some bubbling going on there, right in the center. That's interesting, it's all coming from the same spot. And if you're wondering what my goal is here, I honestly have no idea, except to play around and see what happens. Just gonna add the rest of the yellow. And then I'm going to mix up a little bit of green. I like that green. 
And I don't know if I should pour this on the edge or right down the middle. Sometimes I wish I could do this as a live stream and ask you guys. And I know I could, but I'm not ready to do that. I'm chicken. I have so many mess ups I have to fix in editing. And a lot of them don't get fixed and that's fine. We're just playing around here. Okay, so here's our green. That's kind of a pretty green. I know it looks weird on the yellow mat. I think I'm going to pour it on the edge, but not down the edge. Well, that's kind of an interesting effect. And from the side, it still looks layered. Let me see if I can show you the side. We're going for a ride now. Look at that from the side. That's pretty cool. I wonder how much it'll stay that way. Okay, going back up. Okay, I've got just a little bit of resin left, and I think I'm going to do a blue-green, hopefully. We'll see how mixing my inks works. So I'm going to do two drops of blue, and then a few drops of green, and we'll see how that works out. Oh, that looks good. My resin is already starting to thicken. The mold is not heating up though, so that's good. Doing a deep pour, it can get really hot. So I'm going to do this one around the edges as well. If my hand will stop shaking. Okay, and that's it. I'm not going to scrape the edges. Oh, that's that's getting weird now. That resin's thickening pretty quick. It got kind of weird there. I must have warbled in there. Okay, so now we'll just see what it's going to do over the next 24 hours. And we'll come back and demold it tomorrow and see what all that salt and Epsom salt did. And if nothing else, it'll be interesting. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Well, hi, guys. I'm back, and it's only been about six hours. Remember me saying that I was using the amazing clear cast resin and that I was going to do a deep pour? Well, this resin is not intended for a deep pour, and it, uh, it definitely is not because it heated up a lot. And within six hours, it was fully set. So we're going to see if we can get this out of here and how it turned out. This got so hot that I actually canceled my afternoon plans because I didn't want to leave it alone in the house unsupervised. Boy, I can see it had a lot of bubbles that stuck to the mold. But it set up so fast, there was not time for all the bubbles to escape. Ew. Well, that's not pretty. That's not pretty at all. 
I do like the effect from the side if all the bubbles hadn't stuck to the side of the mold. And I like the way it looks from the top. Okay, so I like the colors, the way they look in the top there. I don't really like the sides with all the bubbles there that clung to the silicone. And I definitely, definitely do not like this side. Maybe I should have mixed the Epsom salts in with the resin first instead of just pouring the resin on the top. But this was just an experiment. I would say this was a flop and I'm not really sure what to do with that, but I'm not happy with it. So just for kicks and giggles, I wanted to put it on a light base and see what that looks like. Now that's kind of cool. I actually like that a lot more. Let's see if I can get this lowered down even more. So looking into it from the side, I like that even more. That has a cool effect through the salt. And the bubbles. The bubbles on the side actually add to the effect too. So now that's really interesting. And remember, it's more yellow down here, and then we added our greens on the top. Let me go kill the other light and see what it looks like. Oh, now that is cool. We just have a little bit of light coming in from the window. The sun is just setting. And that is interesting now that I put it on a light base. That looks like fire when it changes to red. Wow. Hmm. Maybe it's not as much of a flop as I first thought. I'm kind of liking that now. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed this experiment, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm always trying to come up with new experiments and new projects and always trying to do something different. So join me next time and I will see you then. Bye bye for now.